welcome uh, Mrs. Hingi Wang from China. Uh, she represents IMT 2020. She's chair of IMT 20 and vice president of China Academy for Information and Communication Technology. This one. Thanks, Chair. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, on behalf of uh, IMT 2020 um, Promotion Group, I will give a very brief introduction about the progress right now of 5G spectrum in China. Okay. So as you know, 5G will support the frequency band below 6 GHz and also uh, the frequency band above 6 GHz. So uh, for the low frequency band or media frequency band, which is below 6 GHz, it's needed for all three of 5G scenarios, uh, including um, MMTC, URC, and EMBB. But for high frequency band, which is above 6 GHz, mostly it's only used in EMBB especially for indoor hotspots and dense urban scenarios mainly. So during November last year, uh, China government released the frequency planning of 3.3 to 3.6 gigahertz and uh, 4.9 to 5 gigahertz for 5G system, which 3.3 to 3.5 gigahertz is limited to indoor use only. So you can see for the system, um, how to say, and for the media um, frequency band, since 5G system is coexist with other systems like a satellite. So uh, here we define the 5G system should not cause harmful interference to radio astronomies and other radio services with valid license in the above mentioned frequency bands and in the adjacent bands. So November um, last year, the frequency of the following new applications is no longer accepted and approved, which included some service like a, a terrestrial service and also space stations, especially for fixed satellite service, measurement and control of the space stations, TT and C, services. So uh, about the occupation fee, um, so for the China government also released some policies to reduce, uh, to reduce the 5G frequency occupation fee, uh, especially uh, for the 5G deployment um, above 3 gigahertz bands. So you can see um, the no charge for 5G spectrum in the first three years for assignment. Uh, the frequency occupation fee will be charged from the fourth years to the sixth years. And the reduced frequency fee for the frequency band above 3 gigahertz for 5G is listing here. So you can see different kinds of uh, Subband, um, the price for different kinds of a uh, subband. So, as as you see, for last year, uh, where well, they um, released some five G spectrum uh, planning, for this year, um, which is uh, most of work is more focused on the uh, regulatory policies to prepare five G deployment. De deployment in C band. So May this year, um, state radio office have a notice on conducting statistics and verification on radio stations in 3.4 to 4.2 gigabit gigahertz and um, 4.5 to 5 gigahertz. So that means uh, the relevant units using satellite, earth stations, microwaves, and also radio observations, uh, other radio stations in this frequency band, are requested 
to send information at the radio stations. So in that case, we can get a list of all these radio stations. Um, we'll be establish their uh, required interference protections. And next, in June this year, um, we have the consultation on the regulations of coordination and management of interference between the 5G stations and other radio stations. So uh, the interference coordination procedures and standards between 5G stations and other services like uh, fixed uh, earth stations and fixed service stations and, and RAS. We also defined the technical specifications of low noise amplifiers or uh, frequency converters of a new installed and used satellite or stations in the middle frequency band. So in order to evaluate the compatibility between 5G and other fixed satellite services, uh, we're doing some interference testing. So here just show uh, some interference testing in the Beijing Huairo area uh, within the how do you say uh, in, during the 5G technical trail. So the testing is considered the interference from multiple uh, 5G base stations and covers some uh, testing scenarios like a core channel interference test, adjacent channel interference and also blocking interference. So during the testing, we also take into account the additional protection mechanism for fixed satellite receivers. That means we already uh, included additional filters. Okay. So about high frequency band, uh, so we just think of global regional harmonizations 5G high frequency band according to the studies um, towards WRC19. And we carry out some compatibility studies on some uh, mean frequency band. So like uh, 26 gigahertz, 39, and um, mostly like those two um, frequency band. So we'll just list all this um, simulation uh, scenarios in 26 gigahertz, 40, 40 gigahertz, and some interference between 24 and 37 uh, gigahertz bands. So right now, I think the, all this testing without our study without is aligned, quite aligned with all other countries' research. So finally, as the summary, um, we can see 5G use the frequency band, um, low frequency, medium frequency, and high frequency. So uh, during last year, China just uh, released the frequency band of 3.3 uh, to 3.6 and um, 4.8 gigahertz. And this year, um, we released the uh, 2.6 gigahertz as the a very important frequency band for especially right now for 5G technical trial and maybe later used for 5G. And for this year, we are more focused on the making regulations, policies, and the conduct with this field test to prepare for the 5G deployment in C band. And for high frequency band, we just seek global harmonizations, especially in the WRC 19. That's all, thank you very much. <laughs>